what's up guys welcome to the video in this video i will be showing you guys how to add playstation 1 dreamcast and ps2 games and convert it to chd files to add it to any retro handheld games or just retro games in general this works for all of them i will say all you'll need is of course your micro sd card reader you'll need chd man and 7zip and i'm gonna show y'all how to get those right now but I will say with the card reader, this works with everything because everything comes with a micro SD card. You can have an Ambernic right here. You can use this Ambernic right here, Ambernic SP. They all comes with micro SD card. This Trim UI Smart Pro. Look, look. Wait, hold on, hold on. One more thing I can show y'all. You can even use the game stick to do this and add PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, and PS2 games. Um, so to get it started, like I said, the first thing you need is CHD, man. So to do that, all you'll do is just go Google it. That's what I did, guys. So I just went to Google. Give me a second. Let me see. Google. All I typed in was CHD, man. I went to this page right here. And just like that, that's why I downloaded it. The first one right here. Just download that. And for 7-Zip, the same exact thing. You'll Google it. All you do is type in 7-Zip. Google and just like that, this is why I downloaded the first one. Just download it and choose whatever system you have. Mine was this, this one right here, so I just used that one. It was super easy, but mine's come with seven zip. Some computers come with seven zip, uh, some don't. If you don't, you have to download, but mine's already came with it, so I'm good. But once you do all those and both of those steps, the first thing you're gonna see is the CHD man file right here. All you do is just go and zip it. If you can't find it, all you do is just go to your folders and go to downloads. It always show everything that's downloaded right here. But mine's is right here because I already got it extracted. All you just double tap, unzip it, and look, go to 7-zip and just extract to the CHD man file. Once you do that, it's going to create a second folder. And this is how the CHD man is going to look once you got it. Same thing with 7-zip. Once you do the same thing with 7-zip. But once y'all do all that, guys, remember everything goes into ROMs. The reason I'm about to show y'all, I'm going to take my Ambernic SD card out. Put it into my computer and show y'all what I mean by this stuff. So I'm going to go to my Ambernic SD card. Put it in my computer. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. So when I put it in my computer, I'm going to show y'all how the ROMs work before I um, do the little game thing real quick. So I'm going to go down to this computer. Go to the folder. I just, I just what, and All you'll do is always go to ROMs, guys. So you always go to ROMs, and this is where all your games at. You'll see what I mean, because if I go down to PlayStation, which is PS right here, you see it has CHD files all on here. That's because that's the type of file you need to um, play the games. So now that you got that thing, what well, that done, I will say, I'm not going to show y'all guys how to download any games or anything like that. Download at your own risk. Remember, Google is your best friend. It's easy to Google ROM. Just type in Google and ROM. You know what I mean? I physically own this game as well, so I can show them. But once you get the games downloaded or whatever type of files you have in your download, this is how it's going to look. They're going to be zipped up like zip files like this. So all you'll do is just unzip them and put them in CHD, man, which is super cool and super easy. For example, if I go right here, tech in, I already made a folder. Matter of fact, let me delete it so I can redo it for y'all guys just to show y'all. It's super easy if it lets me. There we go. Delete it. So look, go to tech in, the right click. I'm, I'm trying to do the right click on my computer, but it's not letting me for some reason. There we go. Go to more options. 7 zip and I always extract to like the actual file right here and all like that that's that's literally all it is that simple is gonna make a folder and all you're gonna do is drag and drop the folder into the chd man and boom you're gonna have the games just like that like i said this works for all retro um devices every single one no matter which one you have <laughs> excuse me so we're gonna look we're gonna close it open the file Open this file and you see this right here. Boom. That's the whole like little list of everything. So all I'm going to do is open the CHD, man. Like I said, super simple. And all you're going to do is take all these files that you just extracted and drag it and drop it right here. And boom, it's that simple. Once you do that, it's going to say right here to CHD. I always go to this one. That's how you make a CHD file. And you got different ones, but this one to CHD. You can even make ISO files to CHD, like CD files to CHD. So you're going to click it and then it's going to go through this little thing and boom, 
it's automatically doing it. It's going to go all the way to 100. It's compressing right now, but matter of fact, I'm going to skip it once it's finished. But yeah, it's like that some of y'all. And the next I'm going to show like Dreamcast. So. And boom, just like that, guys, it made the CHD file. It was that simple. Super simple, guys. All I'll do is just go to the Tekken 3. You see right here, the CHD file was made right here once it got done. All you'll do is drag it and drop it into your game, wherever um, system you got hooked up, what well, SD card, I mean, you got plugged in. Go to this PC. This is the card I got um, hooked for mine right now, which is Ken Hing. Go to the ROMs. I always go to ROMs and go to the system you want to put on. For example, this is PlayStation. So I go down to what is PSX for my my some might say PS or some might say PS1. They all the same. Go to PSX and look all CHD files. You know this is on here. All you'll do is take that CHD file just made, drag it and drop it on there, and boom, just like that, the game is on there. Same thing for Dreamcast. The exact same thing. If I go back and go to the D's, Dreamcast should have CHD files too. Even if it don't have CHD file, the cool thing is CHD files pretty much work for anything. Well. For any game, handheld, retro, handheld, game device, just anything. So let's go to Dreamcast and look. Yep, look, all CHD files there. So it'd be the same exact thing. If I wanted to, all I'll do is go to Downloads. You see this Ready to Rumble right here? I'm going to delete that real quick. I'm going to show y'all one more time just so y'all can have it in the bag on what to do. So let me do that. And boom, here we go, guys. A quick run through with the Dreamcast. I will show y'all mainly everything and how the PlayStation and it works for PS2, everything. But give you a quick another run rundown. You see, back at the downloads, here we go with this file. The PS, well, this is for the Dreamcast. Right click, double click, it don't matter. Go to show more. Well, yours might say 7 zip, but I have to show more to show 7 zip. Then click on it. It's going to make a little, it's going to load and do its little thing right there. So we're just going to give it time to load real quick. And once it loaded, you see it's going to pop up right here, which is the ready to rumble. Bada boom, bada bang, and there go the files right there. So all you're going to do is drag it and drop it into the CHD, man. Oh, yeah, I always delete the ones you can. You can do multiples, but I'm doing one by one at a time. But I'm going to go ahead and delete these real quick. So I'm just going to take it, take the ready to rumble files, drag it, drop it. Just like so, and like I said before, all you do is make the 2CHD, all you do is make 2CHD, click it, and boom, it does the thing, and that's pretty much it, guys. And boom, just like that, it made the CHD file for um, the CHD man for Ready to Rumble the exact same way. I appreciate y'all guys for watching the video. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, or share it so other people can see it. Make sure y'all share it too. And make sure y'all subscribe because I'm going to start doing Retro Game Wednesdays and posting more gaming videos and just car videos and everything on my YouTube. But like I said, it's super simple. The exact same thing. If you want to put it on the device, wherever device you got, I'm going to go to this PC. Go to the device that you got on your micro SD card or plugged into your computer. You always go to ROMs, like I said, and go to the game. This one is Dreamcast. So I'm going to go down to D's and just like that, boom, that's the Dreamcast. All I will do if I wanted to put this on here will be drag and drop. So all I would do, guys, is take this right here, which is the CHD file. Take it, drag it, and drop it into the device which is pretty cool and it's that simple. That's how everything worked. The PlayStation 1, the Dreamcast, PS2, they all work the exact same. So I know I'm just rambling now. I just want to make sure y'all get it. That's why I showed it twice, but appreciate y'all guys. Like I said, like, subscribe again. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all later.